watching Phuket News TV. Welcome to Legal Matters. My name is Tim Shaw and I'm the Thailand correspondent for the Seven Network of Australia. So many people we talk to want to know more about the law and how it operates here in Thailand. And who better to ask than our special guest, Olaf Johnson. Olaf, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. On the topic of business law, what type of businesses exist in Thailand? Maybe the most common one that everybody sees daily on the streets um, is uh, the sole proprietorship. That's the person that is selling you the somtam, that's the person that's selling you the fruits, maybe that's the person that is having a coffee shop. He is not organized legally in any other way but just doing that kind of business. That's what is called sole proprietorship. Mostly foreigners are not doing that, these are usually uh, has work permit reasons, but for the local community, the local business, sole proprietorship is maybe the most common way of doing business in Thailand for the Thais. For foreigners that want to operate a business here in Thailand, are there any restrictions on the type of business they operate? Yes, definitely there is. Uh, foreigners are restricted uh, uh, doing many kind of businesses. These businesses are actually listed. Such as? Um, the most, maybe the most common one that annoys the foreigners the most is maybe service business because you can put a lot of things under service business and this is highly restricted. So a foreigner cannot just come to the kingdom and start a service business. He needs, uh, and that's what most people know, he needs a local shareholder in order to avoid being under this Alien Business Act that restricts him doing business. What type of foreign businesses can operate here in the kingdom that are 100% foreign owned? Oh, um, the, uh, many kind of business can be operated by foreigners if they wouldn't be under the so-called Foreign Business Act. What we have here is uh, partnerships, all kind of forms. We have registered, we have unregistered partnerships. We have uh, uh, um, limited partnerships. The most common way of doing business in Thailand maybe is the company limited. Um, obviously, we have also public companies here in Thailand, but the most common way of investing into the kingdom by foreigners is by using a so-called company limited. So it's very important to set up a proper and legally structured business before you conduct business in the kingdom. Yes, actually um, that is true, not only in the kingdom, that is true everywhere. People have to see what kind of legal form is appropriate to their business and most people choose the company limited because it's, uh, the liability there is uh, uh, restricted only to their investment and they are not personal liable. Different from the Somtam seller that I mentioned before, he is liable with all his assets if something goes wrong in his business. Olaf, well, thank you for joining us on Legal Matters. If you'd like to know more about Thai law, why not contact Olaf Johnson directly at dnktaxandlaw.com or visit thepuketnews.com. This has been Legal Matters with Tim Shaw. Until next time, bye for now.